I'm going to walk you through how to set up address autocomplete on any form using the address autocomplete plugin by WP Sunshine. This one, uh, I've set up a form using contact form seven, just as a quick way to set up a form as an example. You'll see we have an address, city, state, and postcodes, postcode fields. Uh, if we type in the address right now, you'll see nothing happens when I start typing. So we haven't set anything up yet. If we go to the address autocomplete settings here in the admin, we'll see that we have our Google Maps API key already set in there. That's for another video. Um, and what we have is an instance uh, that I've already set up called CF7. The first step is to find the initial field selector. This is the unique CSS selector that identifies that very first input field on our form. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Uh, I can just right click and do inspect and it'll highlight that input field. One way to do this is to, um, oh, it's not getting shown in the video here. Um, let's see, we want to go to there and we want to go to copy. Let's bring this up a little bit. Here we go. Uh, we'll go to copy and then we can copy the selector. Okay. And then we can put that into here. It's pretty long, pretty unique selector. Um, I like things short. So I notice that there's an input with name, your address. So I'll do input name equals your address. Both of these will work. They're perfectly valid. There's lots of different ways you can uniquely identify an element using CSS. All right, so let's save that setting and see what happens. So now we see the enter location placeholder, and now we'll know that if we start typing an address or a number, we can start getting some addresses. When we select that, it populates right back into the same field, not exactly what we want. So we're almost there. So the next step is to do data population. This is now where do we want the data that the address autocomplete from Google finds? Where, which fields do we want to put that data into? So let's go ahead and add a field. First one we want to do is actually, I want to do the exact same. I'm going to fill the very first one with the address. So we'll copy that same selector. That was the initial, the initial field selector and put it as the first field to be populated. We'll then select data and we'll find address. I'll do the long version. Next, let's set up all our other fields. So if we go in here and we again right click on here and do inspect, again, I can do copy and copy selector. Let's see, see it in the video. Copy, copy selector, or I know it's input name your city. So let's do it. input your city. And then we'll find over here our city. Let's do the long version. And we'll just keep repeating this for all the other fields. All right, and then we're done. Let's go ahead and save changes. Close this out and we'll refresh our page. And now let's try entering in an address. You'll now see that the address populates this first field. The city is the second field, state, third field, and postcode is the last field. One little thing I'll show you is, let's say, for example, in the state administrative area, you'll notice that there is short and long. So let's see if we do short, oops, so remove the old one and just do short. We notice that we have the shortened version of the state. So you can return either the long or the short for each of those fields. So that's how to quickly set up a address autocomplete using the address autocomplete plugin from WP Sunshine.